are standing in all that's left of an Israeli police station that was overrun by Hamas gunmen. There was a 20-hour gun battle here, and all morning we have seen as bodies have been pulled out of the rubble. Meanwhile, as the fighting continues here in Israel, fears are spreading that it could spread across the region. This morning, the Israeli military pounding targets across the Gaza Strip and fighting gun battles against squads of Palestinian militants still on the loose inside Israel more than 24 hours after the surprise attack began. We were in lockdown for eight hours and hearing Arabic outside, hearing the terrorists, and they tried to break into houses. This is worse than our worst nightmares. Thousands of reservists called up for what people here expect is the start of a long and bloody war. Every indication is that Israel is preparing for what would be at once a large-scale ground offensive into Gaza and one of the most complex hostage rescue operations the world has ever seen. <laughs> After blasting their way through the Gaza border fence, Fighters from Hamas and Islamic Jihad swept into Israeli towns, kidnapping whole families and marching them barefoot through their own neighborhoods. This woman screaming for help as she's dragged away into Gaza. Her boyfriend hands behind his back, helpless to save her. Her family identifying her as Noah Argamani, a 25-year-old student who'd been at a dance party. This video later showing her inside Gaza, apparently uninjured. Unlike this woman, bloodied, zip-tied, and terrified, struggling as she's forced into the back of a captured Israeli military jeep. The exact number of Israeli hostages, still unknown. But overnight, Israel's military beginning to release names of more than 25 soldiers killed. President Biden voicing his support and warning Israel's enemies not to escalate. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. But this morning, mortar fire from militants in Lebanon aligned with Hamas. Israel striking back with drones, raising fears that this war could soon spread to multiple fronts. Meanwhile, more waves of relentless rocket fire from Gaza. While inside the Strip, hospitals overflowing with the dead and wounded. Israel's military ordering Palestinian civilians to evacuate specific areas. But in densely populated Gaza, home to two million people, there's nowhere for families to run. And if Israeli forces enter on the ground, the already massive loss of life may be only the beginning. And as well as that rocket fire from Lebanon, the Egyptian foreign ministry is confirming this morning two Israeli tourists were murdered today in the Egyptian city of Alexandria, a sign that the violence which started here in the Holy Land may not be staying here. Willie. My goodness, horrifying images there. Raf Sanchez in southern Israel, you and your crew, please stay safe there. We so appreciate your reporting. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 8 and verse 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Udash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the less scattered abroad pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Udash, Barak Kadam, to use a quantum, Wahakim Wakwaf, you know, elders, you brothers, you sisters, the hopeful elect, out there labor and keeping the commandments to the best of your ability given diligence to make your calling and election sure and of course keeping faith in heavenly father yahweh and his beloved son our lord and our savior and our king yahweh shai hamashiach in his last days in these perilous times that we are living in this brother shai bang yasha allah let's be a quick lesson through the spirit and power of yahweh bashim al shai on how amalek declares war on hamas after surprise assault from gaza man all right, World War Three update. All right, because that's what it's doing. It's stirring up World War Three, and who's doing this? Let's get a quick precept. Isaiah thirteen and verse four. All right, Isaiah thirteen and verse four. 
straight to the point. It says, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms of nations gathered together. Right? Because this is going to lead to that. Because you got to understand, you know, Israel is backed by the whore, Babylon, America. All right? Do you, uh, uh, you have Palestinians, they, they, they allies with Pakistan, okay? I believe Saudi Arabia, all right? Iran, all right? Now, this is going to draw out those other different Persian nations, okay? Which they have ties to North Korea, Russia, China, okay? So, this is going to get big. It's already war going on in Ukraine, things like this with Russia and stuff like that. You already got China about to invade uh, Taiwan. All right, it's a lot of conflict going on with them. Different missile tests going on as well, nuclear, nuclear missile tests, right? Biden's saying, listen, oh, you, you better, yeah, Biden, get, you know, Biden is a weak ass leader in any event, but like you've seen in the vehicle that played in the intro, all right? Basically telling them, you know, any other people around, stand down. They'll make it worse than what it is, basically, man. And it's, that's, I'm getting get another priest right after this, but it's finishes out, it says, the Lord of the of hosts, all right, Yahweh of armies, must of the host of the battle. So he's in full control of this, man. The Most High God, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, let's get Jeremiah 49. This be not too long, just be straight to the point. Okay, this is World War III update, man. This is biblical prophecy. I was watching Brother Aliyah's video he did, you know, and this is just more proof on how those small hats are not the people because there's war going on right now. They literally just declared war. All right, on Hamas, which Hamas is the militant, you know, organization. You know what I'm saying? A Palestinian, you know, uh, nationalist type militant organization, man. All right, I believe their leader name is uh, Ish, uh, Ismail, all right? I forgot his last name. But in any event, Jeremiah 49 and 20, therefore the council of the Lord, it's the council of the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, there's a council took, you know, took place in heaven to how things would play on this earth and it's playing out, all right? That he have taken against Edom, against the Edomites. Because those Israelis or Edomites, okay? Uh, the, you know, of course, you know, these Babylonian leaders, Edomites, okay? He's taken against Edom because that's who's ruling the earth right now. He saw Edom, all right? It's, and his purposes, and that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock so draw them out. So the least of the flock is Amalek, the small hats, those over there that's occupying the land right now. And it was prophesied how the, the most high's land, the chosen land, we parted amongst the Gentiles. I right? parted my land. And he did. I believe the, the Balfour Declaration. Okay, I believe that's the name for it. We looked that up, it lets you know how they got a certain amount of land so the Palestinians got the rest of this land, but then as time went on, they kept taking more and more of the Palestinians' lands. So the Palestinians are Ishmaelites, okay? Those are Ishmaelites, man. All right? You got some Israelites there, you know, but majority, are they're Ishmaelites, you see? And they fighting over land that don't belong to none of them. It belongs to us, all right? So-called blacks, Latino and Americans that's in the ghettos, the slums, the projects, and, you know, trying to make it out, the hood, all right? That's your land that they're fighting over, man. But our people don't realize that, all right? So... And that's another, we won't get the land when our Lord Yahweh returns and bring us there. But, you know, prophecy, like scripture, going to the controversy of Zion, that's where all these things about to happen. World War III, different things that, that's like, what's Isaiah, the 34th chapter? All right? That's why things will get nuclear, the second death. Because that's, that's what World War III ultimately going to end in nuclear war. They're going to start with ground wars, different wars like that, you know? But it's going to get nuclear. Like right now, this is, you know, a little scrimmage. These are rumors of wars. The end is not yet. There's more prophecy to come to pass. So this is an update. What's going on? All right. But it says, surely the least of the flock of Amalek shall draw them out. Going to draw the other, uh, draw Babylon out. All right. And even other nations out that's against them. Because why? Certain things they're going to do to the Palestinians, going to draw the Palestinian allies, which is Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Iran. All right. Iran is allies with Russia. All right. Uh, uh, I believe with um, North Korea. So I think Palestine is allies with North Korea. All right, that's gonna draw all these nations out, man. If things get bad, because you, you you heard what Biden said, you know, Biden basically was saying, you know, you know, basically don't. But he said, stand basically on 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 in, in, in few words, stand down to make it worse than what it is. You know, what I'm saying like talking about the allies of Palestine or even the Palestinians themselves, man. Don't you know what I'm saying? Because it could get bad. Cause we if we got to pull up, 
you know and we know Biden's a weak ass leader but uh part iron part clay probably strong probably broken going to the you know, of course NATO EU but we think about America's army itself like his military might is still still pretty strong okay it's still pretty strong man right but anyway, let's read on. It says, uh, "Surely the least of the flocks shall draw them out. Surely shall make their habitations desolate with them." All right. So this is a World War III update, like you've seen going on. You know, Israel launches airstrikes in Gaza, fighting back. They declared war. You know, we look certain things up, right? Uh, which I'm gonna call. I had something lined up. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, ch -ch -ch where you at? Let me go back. Did I click the article? I'll just I'll just type it in again. If anything, no, it's right here. All right. Let me just type this in right fast, Salakia. Man, <laughs> about to get bad out here, man. All right. When you type in what's going on over there, Israel News. Just type Israel News, right? Let's read some of these headlines. Israel battles Hamas militants as country's death toll reaches 600. That's a lot of people that just died, man. All right. October 7, 2023. Israel says it is at war after Hamas surprise attack. At least 600 Israelis killed, 2,000 wounded at surprise infiltration. Massive barrages rock Israel, man. Israel declared a state of war as battles with Hamas rage, which is, is escalating. Okay? And they call, you know what's funny? I'll read this one. It says, and it's Fox News, you know, you know who controls that. It says, at least 600 dead Israeli PM Natin Yahu declares war at the Hamas terrorist launches, launch massive attack. How are they? They calling them terrorists, man. When you, when you saw Edom, you done did the most terrorizing on this planet Earth, man. Or right, you're the true terrorist, man. <laughs> okay? But they had some nerve. And you heard that in the video because they played in the intro. Low willingness to love. That woman said that at that fucking small hat, you know, Israeli bitch. You know, these terrorists came in. Bitch, shut up, man. Your people are the true terrorists. And most likely going to wipe your ass out, man. All right? So your yeah, death toll is going up. There was another one, uh, man, I hope I can find it, but they basically said, um, they, they have, man, let me see if I can find it, man. I don't know. I had it lined up, but they basically saying, they, they, man, they retaliated, man. They, they want strong revenge for what just happened. And they taking hostages, all right? They taking hostages, man, and Palestinians, okay? So... This the least of the flag gonna draw them out. The most size and control all of this, man. So look at the free more. I'll be the lesson, you know. Look at the book. What I started off in relation to eighth, eighth chapter. We gonna go in order. All right, from here to the ninth to the eleventh, right? Relation eight and verse thirteen. I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" That's the three main woes, three world wars. Woe is destruction. So World War One, World War Two, and World War Three. To the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. So the three angels have to sound the trumpets. All right. Bring forth the things most high intended to be placed upon this planet earth. Revelation 9, verse 12. One woe is past and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And this whole chapter is going to World War One. OK, so one woe is past. And behold, there, there come two more woes hereafter. So World War One passed. Now you got World War Two. Then you got World War Three. The scriptures only mention three woes. It's not talking about, there's no World War IV, World War V. Nah, there's three. Two already happened. Let's get Revelation 11 chapter. In verse, uh, straight to the point, verse 14. The second woe is past. You see that? Now, World War II is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right? So that third woe, World War III, is coming fast. And we're in the midst of it right now. It's already started, but it's, it, you know, it didn't get nuclear. All right, because this is going to draw out these other allied nations for Palestine, allied nations for Israel, and things are going to escalate further and further, further and further. Why? Because the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shah is in control. Man. All right, war. It's, we're not time. Let's get it. It's Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. All right, this is the time we in. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, jump down to the point. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Let's jump down straight to the point. All right? Verse 8, a time of love and a time to hate. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So what time are we in right now? A time of war, man. Why could the most time muster the host of the battle? Get Matthew the 24th chapter. Alright, this prophesied by our Lord Yahweh Shah. Matthew 24, straight to the point. Verse 7. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You see that? 
So we're hearing of wars, actual wars are going on, and rumors of wars, things escalating, and you know, see that you've been in our trouble. This don't trouble us. Why? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? So we know more prophecies gotta happen before World War III fully get nuclear. Alright? Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what's happening right now. We got nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, we got race wars, you know, brewing up, World War Three brewing up. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Alright? Look at Joel the third chapter. Joel 3 and verse 9. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of the war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. And your pruning hooks into spears. I mean, what? Get your weaponry ready. All right? No, it's not the time to be in the spirit of just farming and things. Nah, it's the end of time of war. They're testing out their the, the missiles, their tanks, their drones, their guns. Right? It said, let the weak say I'm strong. So the heathen nations now, that's once in time past, were considered weak nations. They're saying they're strong now. All right, we got we got uh, atom bombs, nuclear bombs, nuclear bombs, all these things as well. All right, we got bombs better than uh, Babylon's bombs. That's how they seeing it. They saying we're strong now. Verse eleven: Assemble yourselves and come, O ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh, by Shemel Shai. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat Jehoshaphat, which means the Most High Judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So most of us are gathering them all up. All right? Because that's where the main battle going to take place. It will be uh, called the Middle East. You see? Verse 13. Put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. A sickle is a farming tool. All right? When the harvest is ripe, the sickle you use to sift. You know? Not sift, really. But what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. You know? You you, you get everything that, that's ripe. So what's ripe on the earth is war. And, and the, the, the Lord about to, you know, uh, bring everything to pass, man. All right? The harvest is ripe. Everything is ready for the picking. Right? All the prophecies in place. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow for there's for the wickedness is great. Verse 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Man. You see that? The valley of decision. All right? So, man, listen, you were going to scriptures too when going to Armageddon, mountain of troops, you know. I forgot to say in the Hebrew, I'm a God one, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't be mistaken on that. All right? But in any event, man, the most is gathering all these nations up for to prepare for that war. Obadiah 1 and verse 1. The vision of Obadiah thus saved the Lord Yahweh Bashimal Shah concerning the Edom. They have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, Arise ye and let us rise up against her. In battle, see, battle was coming against you, Babylonians, man. All right, you Edomites. All right, verse two. Behold, I made thee small among the heathen; thou art greatly despised. They jump down to verse fifteen. For the day of Yahweh Bashmal Shah is near upon all the heathens, see, even all these other nations. They're gonna be going to war. You know what I'm saying? Fighting against each other. Once again, nuclear law. Yahweh Shah will come back and judge their ass, man, and put them in subjection. You see, and deliver the elect. All right? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, the Israelites, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, man. So I'm in it there. Quick war three update. You've seen it in the video clip played in the intro. Like I said, Lowell is still up. You know what I'm saying? We gotta stay on our watch. You know, it's not going to get nuclear just yet. There's more prophecy to come to pass, but this is an update, man. You know, the least of the flock are drawing the ass out. But with that, let's give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Rodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace, and salutation to the last scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa Baba Ba, Shalom.